people welcome to another time of celebrating in the kitchen with pastor florence today being thursday is the day i bring you celebrating in the kitchen with pastor florence because my weekly schedules are like this monday through wednesday i bring you inspirational word then today thursday it's here celebrating in the kitchen friday is like tomorrow i'll be bringing you putting on the right gear for the weekend and saturday sunday i can um, take a break or bring you random inspirational messages like uh, uh, do sometimes uh, and I know God will continue to give me the grace. I also want to take this opportunity to thank God that his grace has been sufficient for me. I do this with a lot of passion and with a lot of love and concern for you because you are of great importance. By the way, it's good to remember a little bit why I started doing all this because maybe you also wonder. I started this during, during the pandemic. Uh, when there were so many kids going on, you eat this, you practice this, and it inspired me because we building our immunity will go a wrong way. It's a preventative measure because we need to equip our bodies well with the right nutrients so that uh, or when the uh, sickness attacks, we will be well uh, equipped and defended against the ailments that comes. So, and... Uh, it has been good and I've been enjoying it and it also challenges me to eat healthy too because I don't want to be like that person who say, you know, do as I preach, but as I say, but not as I do. So it's, it's the many things I bring you here, you can tell it's healthy. And I also want to say that you are very important to me and especially today you can tell because I've taken a lot of time to pre prepare some stuff because I could take, or, you know, maybe more than two hours to bring everything if I had to demonstrate from the beginning to the end. Ra there was a time I demonstrated, was it last week? I can't remember when, that I brought you the butternut squash. And I said there are different butternut squash eh, or, or pumpkin. So today I have a different one and because I still needed to do some uh, meals with it and I promise that you can hide it, you can blend it and make a steel. That is where I am today. And we are going to start with a word of prayer. And before I pray, I also want to remind you that the book of Proverbs says uh, uh, that we go to the ant and look what they do. They prepare their food for the winter during the summer. My summer or your summer is when you have a moment. Like now there was an assignment that I was given in the house. And as I'm doing it, I, I might, to stay in the house, I take this advantage so that I don't waste any time. Because the Bible in the book of Ephesians tells us to redeem the time because the days are evil. So let's start with a word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, as I celebrate uh, here in the kitchen, I pray that my fear and my reasoner will capture something. They will be inspired, Jehovah God, to take care of this body and to be a good example to them that are looking for, that are looking unto them as mentors. I thank you, dear Lord. God Almighty, I do not do this to show off, but I do this, dear Lord, for your glory. It's another pulpit in the kitchen. I thank you. Give me the grace, dear Father, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. So, uh, I'm going to take, uh, first and foremost, practicing good ha hard hygiene. I'm going to start by washing my hands. Warm water is always the best. My hands are clean, but just want to demonstrate to you, okay? And I'm gonna wipe my hands here. So today I write um my African Kenya food. I have it very here. This prepare that's why I said I love you so much that I had to think about you. This is the this what is this? It's a mixture of corn, beans, and potatoes. I've already made it ready, right? Then I had this butternut. I don't want it to spill. I had this kind of butternut squash, so or pumpkin. So what I did, it was full. You can tell it was a big one. I'll be showing you what I'll be doing. It was a complete one. So I cut it. Sometimes I'll just improvise. I cut it with a style. Then I only took one and boiled. Imagine for your sake, so that I could demonstrate. And I made the githeri, I fried it, I put my spice. The only thing I did not do, put, is turmeric or curry powder. Because this, because it's zero, you can see, it will give it the color. I boiled it. I had to filter that water. So I leave it. 
so for the blending i have my mini by uh, mini um magic bullet here and this is the cup for it so what i'll do i'll cut it you can blend with this outer part this outer part is very very rich with fibers you do, and you don't have to struggle because it's already boiled it's very soft to cut i'll cut it into small pieces so that i don't make my mini bullet blender be so hard when doing the work i like to take care even of my equipment and because it's already boiled it's soft okay uh, i'm not gonna be using all this water so i'm gonna put it in a cup let me divide it just of all okay now here is my cup i'm gonna put it there that's already boiled butternut squash of another kind the other one was green last time this one is here or creamy or whatever you may call it um i want to be careful not to stray, make my bread struggle strain so much by putting it they normally say the where the size up to where you should put it well because it's soft it should be good i'm gonna add some water when you're doing yours don't feed it this way because the only thing the way i'm doing it is because this is soft i can press it forward there is always a maximum that is marked where you should reach your contents let it to sink here you are now i have hidden my socket so i might have to go a little bit further from you because i don't want to interrupt my recording camera here okay make sure you close it well otherwise we're gonna mess up put it in place and get it to a socket i could have done behind you but i don't want to mess up the stability okay oh my goodness oh my okay And in between, because it's thick, in between, because it's thick, I'm going to open up and try to shake it. It's too thick so that it can bread well. I can add. Remember, this is not pure water. It is the one that I boiled with. But I had to wait for it to cool down. That's how important you all as my fan, as my mentee. I mentor you, wherever you are. And I hope you go through this and practice. Please, let me not do it just for the sake of. I do it for you. Otherwise, I'm good to go. I can do it without showing you. I'm waiting it to mix well. See? This is my yedari in the cook. It's already, it's ready. So what I'll do? Why do I do this? You could have people in your family. I, mine, most of my family are like that. They don't like this healthy stuff. I don't know why, especially their kids. Eh? So you hide the fr the healthy stuff in the food. You be a smart mom, okay? Smart wife, and auntie, a smart mentor. Okay, so I told you there last time that I came to learn that squash is in the family of fruits, but because it cannot be eaten raw, no, yeah, and vegetable too. So here you go. Yeah, hey, that one. Oh, I remember last time I told you that you can give as baby. When they have constipation this is the thing i was talking about hey, hey i would have forgotten that today i'm gonna take it see this more thing if it's an infant you can use this this alone an infant 
who is breastfeeding, you can feed and they are having constipation. That's a medicine for it, okay? Now here you go. I am mixing it. It's gonna be so good. And I'm gonna put it and make sure I'm gonna use a transparent container. So you see how the color, how colorful it's gonna be. Hmm. There you go. Now the dish is done. It has very good color because of that yellow in it, you know. I did not use turmeric, I used this which is a vegetable and also a fruit. Now, for those who don't take it very like the little kids, you can use ugari, dip it in, or get some of the steel and give. It contains a lot of nutrients, vitamin C and fibers. May you be inspired. Now, I'll continue. That's why I had to prep some of the stuff ahead of time. With these ones, remember I have this if I want to make it a little bit... Uh, or whatever liquidish i don't know whether there is a word like that anyway now this one that i cut i cut them ahead of time so that i don't take most of your time now and i also have the storage bag here handy because when you have the time do what you need to do i can store it i can remove this or i may not remove it Make sure you clean it. I would already clean, but I want to show you something. Because you see, you can even boil this one, as I indicated, as a snack. You can make it in a... Today I boiled. See, that is a quarter of the piece of the round I've made. And I can store them like two of them. And I put in the freezer. See? This is being a wise woman using the words of God in the book of Proverbs to prepare your food during your summer. My summer is when I have the chance. Don't say you are busy. I tell you, if we were to compete and vote who is more busy, I am more busy than you are. So please, let me make use of the time that we have, redeeming the time because the days are evil. You do not want to spend your time and your money going to the doctor while well, you could be doing this. There is a term I like to watch that food is medicine and it comprises doctors from all over, the Asian, the African American, from all over. They are in panel, they ask their, their questions, they bring here and there, food is medicine. And if you want to, if you didn't know, check on the Every prescription you have, you will see, or if you go and buy the supplement, you see the contents in it, you see if it, it contains onions, con oh no, it's an example, or that kind of thing. If you see it contains this, how about you take that fresh, fresh, fresh and natural, okay? So you see, then when I'm doing this, I'm also saving space, storing space, you know? You have to be, you know, being proactive. This body we have, you know, if you always listen to the body, you always feel like, I don't feel like doing it. We don't go by feeling, we go by faith. And a woman must learn to multitask thing. As I said, I had an assignment that made me stay in the house. And so I figured out, wow, I am going to make use of this. I am going to make use of this. Yeah. And so you see, this one I'll be storing in the storage bag. I'm going to save, uh, save the space in uh, my freezer. And it's gonna be for another day, and it can take me a wrong way. Now look, there's a two there. See, I don't need to keep more than that because I'm not gonna be using more than two at a time. And now that was only one squash. Sometimes we have a tendency to think that when you eat healthy, it's very expensive. Tell me, this one squash or this. There is a dish that I made today. Now you see, I am gonna show you the, the bags, the number of bags I'm gonna make and store. Okay. Yeah, and we get going. Let's be smart. Smart mothers, smart moms, smart preachers. Let me add that one. I might have to make it. That one I, I did double. So, see, I have, this is two in one. That is like one, two, three, four. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Guess what? 
I still have some more here. Okay. See, I'm going. The reason I made the trans is because it have the most seeds. These seeds I don't throw them away. You can bake them. I don't have time to do that. I'm just gonna wash them, uh, keep them aside, and then another day when they are dry, I can bake them. And that's why you go to the store and you on the snack area, you see the pumpkin seeds, and they are very expensive. Eh? Hey, my goodness, let me tell you, be smart, be smart, be smart, stay healthy, stay healthy. That does not mean that when you stay healthy, you cannot be sick, but at least I always believe in doing what you can best. Do your best, and what you can do, you leave it. God understand. He is not unjust to forget the good work, the, the effort you, you put to stay healthy together with your family. My friend, let us celebrate every Thursday in the kitchen with Pastor Florence and please don't just make me do it and you don't do it because this I would have spent less time but I I, 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 I spent extra time so that I can mentor you I can inspire you I can encourage you in Jesus name and I'm going to be waiting right now see another one here okay. by the way you can make a smoothie of this one wow and um, by the way, it's also good for digestion. So, be, of course, that goes without saying because if, if it prevents constipation, that is to say it aids in digestion. And I think it's because it's rich in fiber. If you don't want the outer part, you can remove it. You can remove it. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. See, out of, out of one squash, I got two, three, four five six because this is double see and the other one seven i'm gonna put it in the freezer and i'll pray with you after i'm done yeah oh i have saved space in the freezer and messing up things around and all things scattered now for my seeds believe me i'm gonna take time later on not now because i have things going on but i wanna Thank you for staying with me, share with another person whom I don't have their contact of. But please, let us practice good, healthy eating habits. I love you. God loves you the most. Remember to celebrate every moment. Not just celebrating, but celebrating it with joy. Why? Because every moment counts. I don't just want to leave you there. Maybe you've been a little bit reluctant on how you eat, what you put in your on the table for your family, for your kids. Maybe you reach for those you know, process snack, you can make, you know, as, as I showed you the other day, the, the, another time in the past, that you can make it as a snack. And if they want to dip it, you can dip it in honey, you know, they're going to like it. It's going to be sweet, even though it's already sweet by itself. So you are there, you are feeling like, God, I need another step. I need another touch. God can touch you. And it will start by knowing who you are. You are the identity in Christ. So you are there. You have never known the Lord. All these things I do because I love the Lord and I love myself because God loves me. He, he loved me first and so I love to love myself and I love you. So if you are there, you have never accepted the Lord to save you. I would like to pray with you in the kitchen. Late in the kitchen. Everywhere for Pastor Florence is a pulpit. You want to say this prayer after me? Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you. Even that in the kitchen demonstration, there is a word that I can trust. Forgive me that, that for being reluctant on my health and the health of my family. Help me to count the cost of going a little extra mile to put healthy stuff on the table. And especially also for my life. Forgive me my sins. Let my name in the book of life in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. If you have prayed that prayer, imagine you've been transformed. The wood is gone and the new has come. You have become a new creature. The Bible says if any man is in Christ, is a new creature. Two things are important. Testimony of what has happened in your life. And also joining a group of believers or identifying a, a, a home church where you can go to be fed and you'll be a blessing there and you'll be blessed too. I love you. Let us keep on inspiring each other, mentoring each other, share this, and also subscribe to my channel. And let me know when you practice this in your house and share how it was. You can change. You don't have to use the way I did. You can use different things because it's not a test you are doing. Things are discovered. You can discover it to your own. May the Lord God bless you. Thank you. Again, remember my weekly schedule, Monday through when Wednesday, I bring inspiration. What does this like today? Celebrating in the kitchen and Friday tomorrow, putting on the right gear for the weekend. Thank you.